Look at her go. How do I even get out of here? Phil, what have you been doing all afternoon? It's a tornado. I'm leaving and... I'm supposed to be looking back here where Joe and Phil just started clearing. Of course, I can't just look back here. Look at this. It's a sassafras. Um, that is nice and twisted. All right, here's kind of a midstream look. We gotta go get some more juice and fix that grapple. This front is basically kind of just a road that I'm gonna that I'm clearing in. And then where the, these big ones are down up here, I'm gonna start making it, you know, the bigger opening then. So it'll be back off the road a little ways. It's gonna be pretty. So I'm gonna get back in here and keep picking away. got logs kind of a log deck here we got sassafras we got cedar and cherry 
So those we're saving for future projects. Got a firewood pile there and a slash pile is way over there in the woods. I change the plan. I'm gonna go up and help Phil with the excavator. I'll just push this to the side. I'm gonna hold some of the bigger logs for him to chainsaw down. And then he's gonna take the skid steer to the shop and see if there's any slim chance we might get lucky in that. Because I have had to tighten them fitting several times. Uh, I mean, it's coming from a T fitting, so let's go lift some of these trees for him. Okay, he's going to run back to the barn. Fingers crossed he can get the grapple up. And I'm going to take some of these uh, logs. Either They're both either for firewood or uh, for sharing to use for... Uh, projects if she can get them uh, you know milled down at some point for all sassafras and this one up here i'm not sure it might be a locust i'm not positive See that big old cluster there? That's got to go, unfortunately. I need this. I need this opening here for the for the cabin. Look at that thing. Uh, I guess we'll start in at it. And they're all leaning the wrong way, of course. And it's going to be pretty, though. We're going to have a back a back deck looking into these woods I'll probably even dig a pond there all right this looks like a cherry let's see what this thing does
So here's the clearing we're working on this direction. Low battery warning. All right, let's see if we can get lucky on another cherry. I love them. Now this one is a little bit rotten, but that never stopped me before. Oh, I gotta save this before they destroy it. Back my way out. All right, good news. Bonus for today. Uh, Phil got the grapple going, topped off with fluid. Uh, it just came vibrated loose again. So I'm happy for that. We're going to continue on. I was going to save this big tree. We wanted to save some big ones. So I've been working around it all this time. And I looked up and I'm like, it's dead. Let's see if I can push it though or not. It's a pretty good sized one. Oh, come on, baby. Look at her go.
right, I'm about done for day one. My back is toast now, but how do I even get out of here? Phil, what have you been doing all afternoon? Look at the tornado I'm leaving, and where's the cleanup crew? Nah, I'm sure he's, cut, he's cutting logs, you know, with the, for firewood and that, so that's cool, but I'll have to... I'll have to make part my path on the way out to head back up towards the house. Man, it's going to be pretty back in here, though. So you can see the barely see the, the roof of the neighbor's barn. So that's kind of what we wanted it to where they wouldn't have to see the road and stuff down in here. Oh, it's going to be pretty. It, we were going to build our house here originally uh, up in this area until we found out we had power in the back. There's our road over to our driveway. So here's the after look for today. Phil's going to clean up a little bit more. I'm going to start back with the two, two miles an hour mini. But we got the, uh, the whole road is cleared. That's what you're looking at here. This will be a new driveway back into the woodlot. And I still got a lot of obstacles down here, but I'll continue on the next go around. But this is uh, turned out pretty good for today, especially being down with the grapple. I mean, you could see I, I was boxing myself in, yanking trees out. But beautiful day to be outside. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's a nice flat ridge right here. Kind of, uh, you could see it over there, that clear spot. So this is all... I mean, when I say flat, it's relative, but it's a, it's a ridge, and then everything drops down behind it. So that's where I'll put a pond. And there's a nice little bump-out ridge straight there. So I'll just leave the big trees in there and clear all the underbrush. So it'll, it'll have like a, a little yard, if you will, and then it drops down that way, and it drops down that way. It's going to be really pretty. So good success. So I'm in Phil's truck, he's driving the skid steer back, but that's a nice truck, it sits up super high, although probably not used to having someone as rugged as me in here, you know, Phil usually drives it, but hey, it's fun to sit this high up. Alright Phil, your truck is bigger than mine, I guess I'll admit it. And yeah, you're, you're a pretty rugged guy too, I can't, I guess I can't throw you under the bus that way. I should buckle a seat belt just to get it to be quiet though. Ah, good day though. Good day overall.